Okay, we got our 05 Ford 500 transmission tore apart here. Our, uh, our, uh, vi our variable drive transmission. Okay, and what the reason I took this apart was here's our, our uh, input shaft here. I took this off of here. It would normally sit right on top of here. I got the split the case split in half. And what I was mostly concerned about, our seal right here is the one that was missing, our O-ring. What I was kind of concerned about were these two seals here, which are also a concern for causing the codes that we had. And the seals look okay, but we're going to replace them anyways. The one part I didn't order is that there is a gasket that goes between the two cases, so I'll have to order that yet. I Hopefully that's just a day out. Any of the other concerns with noises that the other video showed, Really nothing. I mean, uh, this bearing here spins nice and free, and I don't see any pitting on it. The bearing, the little thrust bearing here looks okay. There's no pitting on that, and it spins easy. Our bearing here is okay, and our input shaft bearing. The bearing inside the, the pump housing here seems okay. No problems there, and no pitting on any of these surfaces. And if we flip this over, Everything in there looks clean and shiny. I don't see any any damage here. This transmission has about a hundred thousand miles on it, so but everything actually looked really clean. I, the other thing I'm going to replace all these feed tubes. There's five of them. They all have O-rings. I think I'm going to put new O-rings on all these feed tubes too before I put it back together. Everything in here in the pump, everything looks, looks fairly good. There's a seal in here for where your filter pushes up to, so we'll get a a new filter right away too. Here's our final drive gear which was another concern for noise and as you can see that spins nice and easy. Don't feel any any grinding. The surface is smooth. Here we have our the valve body itself or the mechatronic unit as they call it. This would be the TCM right here and this here there's eight bolts that hold this on. This here there's a chart on shop key to show you which bolts to take out. And here's our filter, changeable filter. If you want to drop the, you got to drop the pan to change that filter. You got to take the valve body off to split the case because it bolts, because it fits on these here. The valve body fits over top of these feed tubes and then these feed tubes, so it kind of holds the whole thing together. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out. There's a this is our transmission range sensor right here to wire wisely. They put it inside the transmission so that if you ever have a problem, you basically have to, with your range sensor, you have to pull your tranny and split it in half if you want to change your range sensor, which is lunacy if you ask me. Put the electronics on the, put the serviceable parts on the outside of the transmission so they can be serviced and not have to go through 12 hours of work to drop the tranny, split it in half, buy a bunch of parts so you can put it back together again and be on your way. What would normally probably be a fifty dollar part is going to cost you a couple grand by the time you replace it if it does go bad. There's a feed tube, this feed tube here goes up here and feeds this bearing by the looks of it and that would be this shaft right here the, the secondary sh or the what do you want to call it, counter shaft or whatever as you can see, it's got a there's a chain in there, and that's what that's what drives it. And two sheaves that move in and out to adjust your gear ratio. And there is a clutch here. I would imagine this is your reverse clutch. Somehow you got to get the thing turned the other way, I guess. I never really thought about it. I don't know if the, theoretically the car should go just as fast in reverse as it does in forward. Although I'm sure the computer probably will correct for that. So, okay, I guess that's about it on our transmission until we get some more parts, get it back together. But again, our main problem was this O-ring, which has disappeared inside the old torque converter. We had a new torque converter here. And everything else pretty much as is. It's not a real difficult part to, thing to take apart. Just make sure you take the collar off before you try dropping the valve body, your electrical connector. 
And one thing, this is actually a fairly heavy transmission for the size. There's a lot of cast iron and there's a lot of steel in there. But the one place where they did actually save some weight are these case bolts are actually aluminum. So you probably want to be kind of careful with them. Don't run them out with an impact or anything. You twist the heads off pretty easy. There's actually, they're really light. There's nothing to them. So I guess that's about it.